Well, good morning. We are expecting a bad storm, so I wanted to get a video of my sunflower wall before it hits, just in case I lose them. And I think maybe I should go get a shot of the big mammoth teddy bear. Just in case the wind takes her, she is fully open. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Maybe she might open some more, I don't know. If I don't lose her, I think I might. Um, try and get a ladder to get a better picture of the head. That flower is gorgeous. Anyway, there she is, and all these beauties. This is the normal height for a teddy bear, which is what that huge one is in front of my kitchen window. It's what I planted all along the base of the, the sunflower wall, because I thought it would be pretty to have the short ones in the middle, <laughs> you know, down low. And I really didn't expect these to get even half this tall. I kind of figured they would just go over the four foot fence there, but oh, Look at that one, just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how tall it is when I take it down. I would assume that it's finished growing tall, but I don't think that's the tallest one. I could be wrong, but I think the tallest one is over there. I don't know if you can see it in the back or not. Let me zoom. See it way up there? Up there, it's yellow. I'm not sure which one's taller. But, might be that one there. Okay, well, I got a picture of the wall and a little video before this crazy rain comes. I hope my corn doesn't blow over. It's so tall. all my containers out to try and catch some rain. Hopefully they don't blow away. My volunteer sunflowers. Didn't plant a single one of those, but they're pretty. I got a good bit of corn. Look how tall that is. <laughs> my six foot fence behind it. It's crazy, isn't it? Look at all the corn. And more are coming. They won't be able to fertilize, I don't think, because there'll be nothing to fertilize them. But there's two more down here, and this one here, and this one here, and this one, and this one. Oh, there's so many. I don't know if they got fertilized or not. I was told that you need to have a whole field for corn to get fertilized, but whatever. There's a lot of corn in there. Much more than I expected, but anyway, here we go. I hope the storm doesn't trash everything. I thought I'd run out real quick and get a video. I think this year this is my favorite plant. I know that sounds crazy, but look how long this one is. That's like 12 inches at least. That one's now far behind. if I'm going to get much more off of those plants. And maybe, you know, in, in grow bags they might not produce as many. I don't know. 
But the radishes are crazy. Oh, crazy. That's a radish. <laughs> that whole huge thing is a radish. I don't even know how big some of these radishes are. I just stuck them in there, let them go, just because I was told they help with, um, oh, what are they called? Squash bugs. Oh, tomatoes all growing. Lots and lots and lots of, not tomatoes, potatoes, sweet potatoes. There's a cantaloupe in there, and Cherokee tomato, squash plant, which I don't think that squash plant is doing all that great. The last couple squash didn't do well. They died. I don't know. It is what it is. Used to have been producing like crazy. That's a big sunflower too, isn't she? Yes, she is. Volunteer. Didn't even plant it. <laughs> you didn't plant that one either. <laughs> this squash plant has been producing like crazy. But the squash bugs are out and the leaves look kind of yellowish, so I don't know. I don't know about that. I did plant some more seeds just in case. Alrighty. More sweet potatoes. This one's doing good. The leaves look awful, which I think is probably squash bugs. All the bees buzzing around. Look at that twisting all around that. It's pretty cool, huh? That's going to be a big one. I ended up getting like three last year, so maybe that's what I'll get this year. I don't know. Nice big pepper plants that I hope this weather doesn't destroy. The chocolate sunflower you can't even see in the video because it's so dark. <laughs> Birds are getting to them. My dead um, cabbage in the background there. I think that sunflower is about done. She got a lot of flowers on her. I should count them. But she's looking pretty sad. Peppers are doing just amazing. I have so many peppers. This black one blows my mind. So excited about that. It's supposed to be dark purple. I can't wait just to taste it. I need to pull it out into some more sun, I think. Tomatoes, 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 if they make it through the storm. So many tomatoes. Alrighty, that's that.